Mia Stand and I am joined by the founder, Alexandra Tomek. The iGaming industry relies heavily on APIs for seamless integration. With security being a top concern, how does Alia ensure the robustness and reliability of its APIs to safeguard the player, data and transaction? It's a very, it's a very good point. I've heard an interview from, I forgot the name of the guy from Continent 8, uh, it was in Manila, very insightful interview, and he said, we used to see uh, a lot of DDoS attacks, you know, and after we had the credit card impersonation, people were using uh, uh, stolen credit cards, bonus abuse, and now what we see, the real danger we see, an operator is integrated with payment providers, payment aggregators, game aggregators, affiliate platform, CRM platform, and they all re rely on APIs. And imagine that the operator is doing the right job, but all these APIs are from other providers, third-party providers. And if there's flows there, the whole operation uh, 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 is uh, uh, compromised, okay? And now, especially from one year, more or less, we see a lot of Axon Games APIs. So basically, they come, they don't really bet and they generate a win from this non-bet, okay? Or they're able to go in the server and move uh, a, a game uh, which is in staging into production, generate wins on like kind of demo games, uh, put it back on the staging environment, move the money through other software provider and generate millions uh, of wins. And uh, the fraud team is completely unaware of what's happening. And it's happening like on a weekly basis, especially on crypto casinos. So we see how aggregators 10 years ago were just basically providing a lot of games. It's one entry point. I'm not going to sign, do the KYB, the commercials, uh, uh, the integration on 100 software provider. I'm just going to go talk to this aggregator and uh, uh, they're going to provide me all this. Today, it's com the, the, I think it has completely changed. We became a technological partner. Whether it's coming from the operator side, whether it's coming uh, from uh, the software side. Because the new software providers, they focus on making great games. They don't really know about APIs. And these APIs that we have, they must be at the standard of the banking level, uh, uh, of, of the banking industry APIs, because there's money out. We're the only industry with the banking industry where there's money out. So when there's a problem on an API, money can be stolen. You know, so that, that's the very big issue that we're seeing today. And are there any specific security protocols or practices they follow to address emerging threats? What we're building today, we're building a framework, we call it API governance, uh, which is basically best practices. Okay, we need to raise the standards of APIs. So uh, we don't put the bet and the win in, uh, in the same call. We separate them. Then we do reconciliation after. Uh, there's many technical things I'm not going to answer into that we do in order to secure these APIs. Uh, and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's really a key point. And many software providers we talk to and we tell them, we're not going to integrate you, you're going to integrate us. They say, okay, okay, because they want to do business. And then when we tell them you need to do that, they say, why? They don't even understand it. Uh, that, 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 that's, that's very interesting if you think about it, because the heart of a gaming operation are the games. The heart of the gaming operation is the game API. So with the increasing complexity of API integrations, how do you assist your partners in implementing and maintaining secure API connections? So it's, it's, it's very simple if you think about it. We have one API that's coming out from us. And uh, uh, our partners, our customers that are operators, they just have to update this API. But now there's 150 APIs coming in from software providers. And actually, as we've changed our protocols, there's much less. We have evolution, we have pragmatic, all the big ones, we use the APIs. Let's say playing Go, for example, is an example for us of a very good crafted API. They're really good. Playing Go is really good at APIs. So, we build our own, what we call reverse integration. When a new software provider comes to us, we force them to use our API. And that's what all we ensure security. 